Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, getting started with ESP32 and the ILI 9341 TFT LCD display, we got the wiring done and did the Hello World example sketch, so I felt confident that we could proceed with video on the ESP32 just as outlined in this project here. And they have several different example sketches using the SD card and different video formats. So I was getting kind of excited, thinking that this was going to be pretty cool. Now you got to remember, the original article is using an ILA 9225. Yeah, see here, I added the amplifier and the speaker. The amplifier gets wired into pin 26. We're going to go into this in another video. But here, yeah, SD card mount failed. And I tried, I have two redundant sets of hardware of course, two SD cards, so I've replaced everything, tested all known good, and I still have the same result. So we're going to plow ahead with Spiff's examples because the SD card's not working. So I removed the wiring for the SD card. Oh, now I come to realize I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to use Spiff's. I've never done that before. What does Spiff stand for? It stands for SPI Flash filing system. That could be a tongue twister if you said it fast enough. Basically, we're going to use a portion of the flash RAM as file storage on the ESP32. And this tells us that we need to have a partition scheme, no OTA, 1 meg app, 3 meg spiffs, and we need this Arduino ESP32 FS plugin. I've never worked with spiffs before, so let's uh, figure out what we're doing here. Yeah. I'll leave a link in the description down below to this GitHub site. Oh, and something to consider, Arduino 2.x doesn't allow for plugins yet. They didn't add any code to support plugins. So, yeah, right here, people are saying, when is it going to be in 2.x? It's really up to the Arduino team to enable that plugin support in Arduino 2.x, 2.10. I've been trying to use Arduino 2 point whatever to be modern, but now I find out I need to use the older version to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is, from the releases page, we're going to go ahead and download that zip file. There it is. You're just going to click on that and download it. Go back to the instructions. In your Arduino sketchbook directory, you need to create a tools folder. So in my case, it's Documents, Arduino, Tools. Let's go take a look. Yeah, Documents, Arduino. We'll sort alphabetically. And down here under the letter T, you see the Tools folder I just created. Document, Arduino, Tools. And in that, I've already copied and pasted the contents of that zip file. Copy paste that into the tools folder just like that Arduino tools ESP 32 FS and of course you want to close and reopen the 1.8 version of Arduino IDE to pick up that plug-in so within each sketch you have to have a data folder so you see this spiffs RGB 565 video has a data folder in the directory and the data folder contains the files that you want to copy to the spiffs Let's go ahead and open that sketch. Okay, so let's check out all the settings here under Tools. Yeah, we've got our ESP32 dev module. There's our partition scheme, no OTA, 1 meg app, 3 megabyte spiffs. You do have this option here, erase all flash before sketch upload. If you enable that, that's going to wipe everything out. It seems the ESP32 sketch data upload function replaces any existing files. So we won't need to do that uh, wipe of the flash memory. And let's go look. See, yeah, see inside that data folder is the output RGB. That's that little video file, 1.6 megs. And that's going to get copied to the spiffs on the ESP32. Yeah, we're compiling the sketch there in the background. Yeah, remember, when it goes to connect and upload in the Arduino IDE, you want to press and hold that button just to the right of the USB plug there. And once you see it start to go across, then you can release the button, and it will continue to upload. There we go. The sketch is uploaded. 
but you'll notice we haven't copied the file over yet to the spiff. So we're going to get this error on the screen here. Yeah, failed to open output RGB file for reading. That's because it's not there yet. So now we need to go into Tools, ESP32 Sketch Data Upload. You click on that. It's attempting to connect, so you got to hold down the button. Hold that button down. There we go. Now we can release that button, and it's copying that output RGB folder from the data folder in the sketchbook to the spiff on the ESP32. There's no hierarchical file system. It's flat, so that spiff just has files in it at the root. So everything's slash file name. There's no child directory underneath that. Okay, so it's hard read setting after copying that file over. This is a rather simple video. It's basically like uh, just a few frames, a guy eating, looks like he's eating ramen or something. Yeah. But we see we can play video, at least this simple RGB file, from the spiff on the ESP32. So we are playing video on ESP32. We're going to make another video about the example video sketches, but I had to learn how to use spiffs first. I'm going to go one further and show you some additional management capabilities using this sketch from this article. Look for the link in the description below. Yeah, I just copied this final code from the article. I created a new sketch called List Spiffs. And their example sketch actually creates a test text file, does a directory read, and then deletes the test text file and does a directory read again. Yeah, we open up Serial Monitor going to hit reset on the device. There we go. There, it created, yeah, file was written, it created test.txt, and there's your directory readout there. The output RGB file and the test text file are in there, and then it deletes test.txt and leaves that output RGP and leaves that output RGB file there. These functions are remarkably simple. You'll be able to use this example code to suit your needs if you need to remove a file from spiffs or if you need to write a file to spiffs. All right. I feel confident working with spiffs now. I hope you learned something. Leave a comment down below. Also, please make sure to check out Getting Started with ESP32 and the ILI 9341 if you haven't already. And we're going to work through some of the example sketches of playing video on the ESP32 using spiffs. So stay tuned. And give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. And before you go watch more of my ILI 9341 videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.